the pants off. <laughs> Who writes this? Who who clears this? What? This Twitter indie dev just dropped a bomb about 90s games. And if you can make it to the end of the video without laughing, you are stronger than I am. Let me tell you that. So he says, this is an indie dev that says ads for games in the 90s were the absolute worst. You'd have a two page spread with no screenshots, someone making a stupid face and a ransom letter font saying, are you stupid? And then a tiny little Yoshi's Island logo in the corner. Let's see how true that is. Okay. This is the ad for Yoshi's Island legitimately back in the 90s. I want to read it to you. You follow along on the screen. Super Mario World 2. This baby's out of control. Mario's back in his biggest adventure yet. Four years in the birthing and now this bambino comes kicking and screaming into the world of Morphimation graphics, a Nintendo brainchild that allows the characters and backgrounds to ripple, rubberize, and react like nothing you've ever seen, except maybe that nasty gelatin salad your mom puts out for company. But there's more than eye-popping visuals to drool over. There's over 60 levels packed with all new surprises, huge expanding bosses, and Yoshi, a cold-blooded babysitter who spits fire and launches eggs out his butt. <laughs> what? He even morphs into a helicopter. Try that with your average lizard. And if that doesn't pacify you, there are over 130 different types of enemies. So you may want to put on a fresh diaper. This was a legitimate ad in the 90s. I think everybody forgot about this until this person just brought it out and said like, hey, these are stupid because people are saying like, oh, these are the best ever. What are you talking about? These are the worst. Just look at this mess of a <laughs> I mean, We're not done. There's so much more to check out in this amazing thread here. Of course, he's, he's overwhelmed now with people saying, stop, stop. You're, you're, you're flooding this. Now, this was some use. This Command & Conquer is going to be really popular here. This was uh, you used a photo from the same event about modern warfare but that's not one of the funny ones that's kind of screwed up previous high scores from command and conquer uh that's one that one's quite controversial let's move on so this is for virtua fighter it says domestic violence up at the top here and it's got the dad just cheesing down the son going up all of 1950 style and in the middle of the screen you have imposed there the virtua fighter on the sega genesis the game is never over look at those blocky polygonal graphics the number one arcade game now invades the home. Are you really going to make a pun like that? The 90s were a, a wild wasteland, wild west, man. Let me tell you, this is crazy. And there's still more. Now, this is probably one of my favorites. <laughs> this says, I remember when he couldn't keep his hands off me. And you have the, the dad. Uh, I think you're going to miss this. Pay close attention. Okay. I think they did this on purpose. She's scantily clad, dressed, right? this pose right here he's got the lean back gamer pose with the controller in his hand and I, and I want you to look at the game he's playing it's not just this pose right here look at the red thing coming out of the screen about where he's lined up okay so let's read the text it's even worse now he's got that neo geo he used to play all night with me hot action fantasy games you name it now he says his neo geo gives him more plus major league sports ninja warriors and flame throwing enemies can you do that he asks i make my play but he's glued to neo geo's vivid four-dimensional graphics and 65,000 colors i scream but he doesn't hear me above 15 channels of pure pulsating stereo sound with seven dedicated to real voice speech Okay, he says Neo Geo is the most powerful home entertainment system in the world and that other systems don't even come close, and lately neither does he. I'll show him. I'll play that Neo Geo and beat the pants off. <laughs> I didn't know that was one. 90s were freaking insane, man. I am so glad that this Twitter thread came up. Oh, man. Uh, as a child of the 90s, look, we're, we're still going. John Romero is about to make you his suck it down so this was john romero of doom uh made a game called daikatana that was quite controversial wasn't very well received and this was his tagline john romero is going to make you his or about to make you his and suck it down so that didn't go well that was a wild time to be alive for sure this one has a bunch of hands and stitches and that's that one's not as weird but we're going to keep going there, there's some more that are nuts here okay it talks about if you and your friends aren't completely freaked out, this will dishonor his family, which he can restore only by taking his own life with a sword. That is brutal. Now, this, now that's crazy. That, now, if this doesn't doesn't make you want to buy a PS2, the 90s and early 2000s when it came to graphics cards and things were were nuts. Like, you would not see this type of art today. Look at that. Let me move myself out of the way. This is literally insane compared to what you see today. All, it's like that surrealist i don't even know what you want his head's in the sink beware of the ninja oh chopped his head off okay 
We're not done. We've already seen that one before. Everything Sucks Forever. Night in the Woods. Now available in the iOS store. Okay, let's see this. Alright, fine. We'll read it. Talking animals that are basically people. A pizza place that closes down. A local economy that sucks. An aunt that's a cop. A duck full of rats. Some of the cats aren't people. Like, there are people cats and regular cats. This is never addressed. And you thought your hometown sucked? Night in the Woods. Now available on the iOS store. Everything sucks for... Who writes this? Who who clears this? What directors and developers clear this to say, okay, hey guys, this is going to be a perfect advertisement for the game. You're not even able to like... Like, look, there's one tiny picture of this game that you see. What gameplay are we watching here? This is absolutely ridiculous at this past. All of these up here that we have just passed, look, where's the gameplay? Where's the where's the cool stuff? There's a there's a chick in, in a nightgown, and, and I'm not even gonna talk about that one anymore. Uh, you have like four pictures of gameplay at the bottom. Let's read the text, if I can. It's difficult because it's so small. It says, egg fights, screaming babies, vicious attacks. It's like daycare from hell. <laughs> Do not adjust your television. These graphics are supposed to be wavy. This little sucker doesn't just scroll left to right. He goes all over the place. And we don't mean number two. This is... Oh, I can't make it. I can't do this. Kicking, shrieking, crying, tantrums. And that's just the guys who bought new systems. I don't know what else to say about this. We're not done yet. We're, we're, okay, we didn't skip this one. So good, it's crazy. You'll just have to see it to believe it because nothing in this life or the next compares to the insane graphics of the new Nintendo Game Boy. Gameplay so good it'll melt your brain right out of your skull and you'll be asking mommy for a new set of butt cheeks. Really, it's that nuts. You don't have to take our word for it as just a few of the screenshots below should be enough to make your eyeballs go so wild that you'll need to put on a pair of goofy goggles just to be able to see the bright future wasting away behind the screen. Yes, these are real screenshots of Tetris and I can't tell what the other one is. Don't they look so good? No, they don't. They don't. What else is in this thread? There's got to be something else. Oh, this is talking about advertising in the 90s in general. It's not just games that did this. Everything did this, if you remember, and we're, we're live at this time. Corn gone wrong. Corn nuts. Surprisingly hardcore corn snacks and seven mean flavors. Farmer brown shucks. Like, this This is real. Okay. This is for Klonoa by Namco. Blow up or shut up. Everybody wants Klonoa. He's a fantasy creature from Phantom Isle? I can't read this this far down here. He no, no, no. he flaps his oversized ears to fly. He kills his enemies by inflating their bodies and launching them from any available mountaintop. He's also the star in Namco's new action-adventure 3D trippy landscape. Once you've got Klonoa, you won't want to get rid of it. But Susan, I have Klonoa. Hey baby, I want Klonoa. <laughs> Oh, who makes a better hero, Spongebob or a guy named Bob? I have square pants. I'm not wearing pants. Soak up the new Spongebob video game this fall. Spongebob square pants. Battle for Bikini Bottom. Oh, no. Here we go. There's a new hero out there, and he's not going to let anyone stand in his way. Crikey, you're Ty the Tasmanian Tiger, the last of a rare breed out to explore the untamed and uncharted Australian wilderness in search of your lost family. Along the way, you'll encounter some fearsome foes set out by the evil boss cast to spill, spoil your adventure. But no worries, you got a heap of high-tech boomerangs, plenty of mates, and a set of chompers to help tame the dodgy outback. Good luck. It should be a ripper good time. Quite possibly the only thing weirder than your sister. Klonoa. Oh, it's the Klonoa game. No, no. Okay. Oh, Family Guy. Unleash your inner Peter. Okay. It's too hot for TV. This was back in 06 when this one came out. And this is a hard ad right here. The only thing worse than the weight of the world on your shoulders is the weight of the moon. The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Out now on Nintendo 64. That's epic. The scale of the moon over the city is just intense and, and it's suffocating and just brutal right there. And another one, I never thought maim I never thought maiming four of my friends could be so much fun. Okay, the, the exterminator, more fun than a ferret on your face? Game Boy, more fun than a ferret down your trousers? What's this uh, obsession with ferrets? Trou I'm not even gonna go to where, where that one is. I, you already know. Oh yes, more, more, faster, faster, faster. It's Sonic. <laughs> because this game stinks. Okay, th there's one that I got to show you up here. It's a video of uh, Luigi's Mansion. Let's check it out. Oh, he's going to make his moves. He's getting closer. Uh-oh. 
Here he goes. Oh! You've got one night to save Mario from the supernatural. Luigi's Mansion. Only for Nintendo GameCube. And she's gone. She flashes the cube and she's gone. I can't do this video anymore. Check out the next one on your screen. Subscribe if you like more. Thank you, Twitter, for the laughs of today. Subscribe for more game news. I'll see you later.